That didn't end exactly the way I had hoped. That is amazing. You look great. How hard can that possibly be, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. There's probably no trick in here. It's like the calm before the storm. Good morning. It's Monday. Uh, not starting out to be as good as yesterday. No, yesterday didn't start out that good either. That's a lie. My two lambs that we're getting tube fed have gone quite a bit backwards in the temperature department. The one that's chirping is closer. It's 35.3 degrees, but this one's not even registering on the thermometer. So um, I'm not feeding them yet. I had to actually do the dextrose treatment. So that's the second time I've had to do it. It worked yesterday. They're older now. The little one has drank about 75 mils. You wanna know where your brother and sister are? Or brothers, I don't even know what they are. Well guys, it's almost six o'clock. What is it? Yeah, it's five to six. And the temps have not moved in an hour, an hour and a half. And I thought maybe for sure they'd go up a little and they haven't gone up at all. Uh, the one is at 35.6. Um, and I, I, I just, I couldn't even get the tube down its throat. It was fighting me. It can't swallow. So I can't even, I can't feed them. I gave them dextrose. Um, I think I'll wait till uh, maybe 7 o'clock or 7.30, and if they still haven't improved, um, I'll try dextrose again, I guess. Now this little monkey still, even he is, uh, can only drink so much at a time because they get full and its lungs are still underdeveloped, so it's, it just has a hard time breathing and drinking at the same time. Sometimes they're just not meant to be. They are early. I knew that, you know, when I had to do that C-section, but I just, I guess I thought maybe we were witnessing a miracle. Hi, can you see my nap? Okay. You want some milk? You're not really squawking, you just ate an hour ago. Do you want some more? No? <laughs> no, that's not going down your throat, you're spitting that out. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing? Don't you go backwards. Don't you go backwards, no. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> My battery's dying. Say bye. Bye. Well, that, uh, that didn't end exactly the way I had hoped and prayed. It's only been an hour and a half, and they went peacefully, I think. How are we doing? We still got, yep, still got retained for sun check. Get you treated. Again. Hi. So this is kind of what you want to see, no use, kind of dragging behind. There, there were a few that were slow getting, slower getting up, but they all got up, they're all eating. So there's nothing really, you know, uh, drawing my attention to any more use that might have preg talks. Thank goodness. So hopefully we've, uh, we've kind of gotten on top of it. I might actually take a blood test on that, uh, the other you that has been down. Um, I gave her glycol only once yesterday. Yesterday's a blur. I don't remember what I did because it was just all encompassing those lambs. How was your trip? How was the, how were the trails? Oh, they were good. Okay. So I figured this is a good time to take her blood because she's actually been eating again. So we'll see. I haven't done glycol yet today. So we'll just, I'm just curious as to what it is currently. Is it 
That is amazing. So that literally matches what she's doing. She's subclinical, which means uh, she should still get it once a day. So we were right yesterday. So I will give her her glycol today, but that, I can't believe it's getting, so she was a 2.9 and we got it to 1.9. So the treatment works and that is really cool to see. So I'm wondering, Maybe we caught her right at the perfect time, whereas uh, the mama we had to put down yesterday, she started out at a 3.8, yesterday she was 5.9, so she went the wrong way. So we obviously, there has to be something there that, you know, you gotta catch them right before they go off feed. I think maybe that's the trick. This ewe just never went off feed. I mean, she got slow, but she never went completely off it, and the other mama did, and that's when the ketone probably went up. The glycol is working, so we're gonna keep at that. She doesn't need calcium because she's been getting up. It's nice to know this stuff works, and I'm glad I can share this and help you guys um, if, you know, if this is something that you struggle with. I feel like I'm the only one in the universe that seems to struggle with preg talks. <laughs> You pooped! Quit pooping! Now Carissa just fed this guy an hour ago. Drank 50 mils, so we'll see. I don't think it's going to drink. You good for now? Nope. Okay. You're steaming up my camera! Hi! You don't like this, do you? 37.6. You're still okay. You're still okay. I have to see it a bit higher still. Yeah. I wish you guys could get a feel for how small this lamb is. Like, that's its head. I mean, I got big hands, but. So this is the problem with preemies. They give you such a sense of false hope. Uh, this lamb is still currently at 37 and a half degrees, so it's fine to drink and it will not swallow. It drank all day yesterday with the bottle. I had to tube it at the last feeding and it still will not drink out of this bottle. So I might tube it this feeding. Carissa's actually on Tonight, uh, Mark and I have a meeting to go to. So I might tube it for this feeding and uh, let Carissa feed it tonight with the bottle. Hopefully it'll drink tonight. Why do you gotta be so cute? Mm -hmm. You look great. You gonna come out for a walk with me? Can you walk in that? Oh! <laughs> There. So far, Mama doesn't hate him. Just at that 37 and a half, so I don't want him to lose its body temperature, but it's got a belly full claustrum. It's got a little jacket on. It's not crazy cold in here. The curtains are open. I want to take that off so you can walk, but I don't want you getting cold. Okay. Let's see what Mama thinks. What do you think? If she had like fresh cleanings, I could spread that all over the lamb and trick her, but. 
Oh yeah, there's probably no trick in here. She's not beating it up though. We had a wardrobe change and it fits perfect. It's a cute little, someone sent that to me like last Christmas. I'm not expecting anything, but so far she's not hating it. And I got to keep her in here anyway, because she has retained placenta. So until she drops that placenta, she gets to stay. So we'll see. So just to show you what I did here, I took the last four digits of mum's RFID tag. And that's how I identified uh, the three lambs. So lamb number one was A, lamb number two was B, and this is the third one, which is C. I wrote them down as stillborn. Selenium is just, I put that as a default, so it's just there. Now this is uh, interesting. So it was Rito Ile de France Tunis. So those babies, I thought the one was all brown. It was hard to tell because they were pretty bloody. So we lost our first set of triplet Tunis babies, which is really sad. And then down here under add note, uh, I just wrote, mom aborted, retain placenta. So this will show up when I go to look at all their data, when this is all said and done, and when Rex has his Mady Visna report, uh, some of this stuff might just line up. We gave up on mom. It's too cold in there. So I checked its temp again, uh, 37.4. So we've dropped 0.1, which is what I was afraid of being in there. So we'll keep them in here and uh, give them one more feeding in about an hour. And then it's Carissa's miracle hands. Hopefully she'll be able to do more than I certainly have. Good morning. Hey, is that poop on my Bob the Builder blanket? How you doing? Good morning guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, yesterday, Mark and I actually were away, so Carissa was on neonatal care, and our little nugget has made it yet another day. When I last left you guys, I had to tube this baby, and usually if it starts with a bottle, changes to a tube. It's not usually the best of endings, but uh, when Carissa came that night, she was able to get 50 mils into it through the bottle, and then the next morning, another 100 mils, I think? or 50 and then 100 and then another 50 and then last night I was able to get another 100 into him and he's got poop all over his blanket which is great <laughs> I just changed this blanket at four this morning and uh, he's doing good I mean he's still really raspy though so I'm not sure if if they get better with age come here <laughs> come here <laughs> small Chris and I have a few things we want to do first thing this morning. We're going to run through that group that uh, was weaned here. Okay, the group that lambed in December. So we weaned them in February. I want to do an utter evaluation. And I also, uh, before I do that, I'm actually going to go through the weaning information off those lambs. So if you remember uh, before Mark and I and the kids went away, I ran those, Chris and I ran the, the lambs through the scale and got a weight on them. So I have all their data, plus I have anything I wrote down during lambing. So, you know, did mom reject them? Did mom have uh, a compromised udder? Whatever may be wrong with mom, hopefully I wrote it down in that information. Other things I'll look for is, you know, did the lamb look like she was getting enough milk? So all these kind of strikes that I might have against mom, I'll take that into consideration when I'm running her through. Uh, if some of them line up with actually how her udder looks, like so maybe her udder is really compromised, maybe a plugged teat duct or uh, a real lumpy udder, then all those things will be taken in consideration and they'll get marked for being sold or shipped. And then we're going to resort some pens around and get some lambing pens set up and just get really prepared and in the brain space of actual lambing. We're down to days now. What are we? We're at Wednesday. We are due in uh, one, two, three, four days. Four days left to lambing. <laughs>
All right, we've got the uh, first ones in. These are the, well, this is the group that lambed in December. What I'm doing, I don't know if you guys can see. You can back up, I'm just excited. Um, I'm basically just putting a hand to the udder. And if there's any lumps or any of the teeth feel just off, like hard, um, then it's compromised and I would actually look at her data or give her a mark and she would be um, marked to ship. But she looks okay. The other thing we are doing is when I was gone two weeks ago, Carissa lice treated these guys for the first time. They need to be done for their second dose at least two weeks after. So two weeks or shortly after. So we are, uh, what we do is kind of get down to the, down to the skin here and then just give them a dose of the lice treatment. And then all our use are actually up to date with lice prevention, hopefully. And then uh, maybe we can get on top of this issue. And then she's gonna scan their tag. I've got the session already up. And then, uh, and then I've got record of who these ladies are as they go through the system. So this is kind of day one of the next breeding period. All right. Other, your other forward. This mama had retained placenta, so she's she was in here since Saturday night. Yesterday when I was gone, she finally dropped the uh, retained placenta, so that is good. That means no metritis, no illness, no issues with mama. So I'm gonna put a paint mark on her, and she's actually gonna go in the pen we just uh, did that utter evaluation on, and in a month or so, if all looks good in the second evaluation, um, then I will maybe just rebreed her, depending on what her history says, her stats show. I think I'm just gonna move her, and then I'm gonna move the ewe lambs at the back. I'm gonna add them to this group and rearrange some penning this morning. Should we tell them the good news? We finally got a serving, what a normal lamb would drink in one serving. We finally got it down this one's hatch. Uh, we started at four o'clock this morning and it's about 10.30 in the morning. So it takes, it takes them a long time to, uh, to swallow, to get everything working. So you have to be really, really patient and uh, I lack that. So what we've been doing is, is just uh, administering like 50 mils at a time or as much as it'll drink, which is usually about 50 to 100 mils, depending on the serving. Uh, first thing this morning, I was able to get almost 100 mils into it. The other 100 mils we've had to do over the last couple hours. So we finally got it into it. It's been peeing and pooing. You want the heater, don't you? What are you going to do when you actually have to go back in the barn? Hmm? Smart. I made one final stop to town, hopefully it's the final, f to pick up some much needed 
paper towels. We go through this like crazy when we're lambing. I ran out of that. So I ran into town and while I was there, I was, I've been looking at this and it drives me crazy. We don't have a lot of, we have shelving, but I like to keep that like as my vet stuff and my colostrum and, and uh, that kind of detail. But I like to keep my cleaning supplies and my soap and a, and a paper towel. I like to have a little shelf. This barn's been up since 2013 and I finally bought a shelf. So I'm going to attempt to put up a shelf. How hard can that possibly be, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Ladies are looking good. Look at you. So we got everything moved around this morning here and I am just in awe of, especially that one, my little 2.9. You're doing so good. Or should I say 1.9? You were 1.9 the other day. So she's been getting up and down on her own. Eating hasn't missed a beat. And they're all getting up and walking on their own, which is really good. I think I'll keep them in here till they lamb unless I run out of room but I have been able to give these guys a whole pen and a quarter. Uh, the pen of the group I worked with this morning, I've got uh, 57, I think on this side, 22 in the back corner on the other side. So everybody's got a ton of room, which is great. This will fill up once lambs come. Everything, you seem to have lots of room and then the lambs come and you're like, oh my goodness, the walls are closing in. It is so quiet. It's like the calm before the storm. Is it time? Come here, bubs. Ah, oh, it's nice and warm by the heater. Come on, go say hi. Hi to your friends. Go say hi to your friends first. Did you say hi? Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. Feel right. Are you hungry? Like a warm mouth. Slow and steady. Woohoo! You drink a lot! 